everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. So far, so good. We've been having some great runs lately. That uh, Super Clutch Maggie reroll felt pretty good yesterday, and I'm super psyched to have a Judas run. I feel like what we were lacking on that last Maggie run, uh, which I'd recommend you watch if you haven't seen already, TL79J7C-dubs, is... Um, is damage. We we're just we had shit damage for like most of the run. I don't want to harp on it too hard because we did. Okay, let's put ourselves one hit away from death. That's a tactical one life. That's where we want to be right now because it really gets your blood pumping. You know, it's like the implicit whore of Babylon. I find um, that would have been an awesome opportunity for a bomb to show up, but that's okay. Uh, this is a little scary. Scary enough that I'm I'm actually thinking, yeah, sure. Let's let's pop Bookie B and make sure this works. Um, yeah, I don't, don't want to be harping on it too much because we did get. Uh, Quad shot, and there's always people that are like, "Whoa, don't complain about your damage. You got this one item." Whoa, okay. Uh, we got a crawl space and a hermit card, and a bomb to blow up this tinted rock, which gave us two spirit hearts. So we're at half plus two, and it is going to be a, a like a black market here. So we can actually pay for one of these deals if we want. So we can get the stopwatch, we can get red candle. I think the rest of these deals sort of suck. So I'm gonna get PhD. So I mean, okay, there's options is great. Is this HP up? That would have been so sweet, so we could have gotten there's options as well, but that's okay. If we get HP from the boss, we'll come back here and take there's options. We probably should have done it vice versa, but I, I mean, whatever. Hopefully we get HP from the boss. If we don't, we don't. I think it was still worth it, but it's a bit of a risky situation because we don't have uh, um, we don't have the fuel for a deal with the devil, basically. But uh, the other one, there's only three items in there we actually want to pick up right now. Book of Belial is so good, we don't want to give it up for Red Candle. Um, the Stopwatch, we just uh, we should take, but I'm not going to because it's kind of boring, I find. It's a little too automatic. And um, there's options, and, and PhD, I, I, both, I like both of those a lot. You know, it's a tough uh, drafting situation there. Uh, I, I, I don't know if I chose the right one. Now that I think back, I probably would have rather had there's options, considering it's so rare to get a there's options th this early in the game. I mean, you, you pretty much have to... Just get extremely lucky with a lot of nickel drops or a dime drop like we just had right there. Oh my god, proptosis from our uh, from our item room as well is incredible. Um, or you have to find an early black market, which is extremely uncommon. That's the first time we've had that in like at least 30 or 40, if not more, episodes. And that luck upgrade, also really good. Super psyched to have that. Now I'm like, well, if we don't get a... Uh, we should use Book of Belial. Now we'll like one-shot these, uh, two-shot these ghosts. Uh, if we don't get uh, an HP upgrade from the Haunt, which is possible, it's possible both ways, but um, we'll just buy a pill from our shop and maybe it'll be a health up. But we got Old Bandage, so we need like a half Red Heart if we can swing it somewhere. So tell you what, let's uh, use the Hermit card. There's, there is a pill for sale and a cheap Red Heart, so we'll buy the Red Heart. We'll also buy the pill. We're not going to be able to buy these other items. The pill is Balls of Steel, which is hugely valuable for us. Uh, and then we'll go down and get those options. This is This is stupid. Uh, we might not be able to get a deal with the devil on the next floor, and by get I mean pay for, but, uh, a pretty incredible first floor is Judas. And you know what, let's just get the hell out of here. I know we left a tinted rock behind, but we don't have any bombs, we could have possibly gotten enough money to buy it from the shop, but it's, it's unlikely. Uh, this is, this is pretty nice. We have there's options, we have PhD already, we have another opportunity for a black market here, which is hilarious. At least a crawl space, uh... Like a 50% chance of a crawl space. It's probably like a 10% chance of a black market, but still, how funny would that be? And one bomb with which to access it. Uh, we need a few more bombs, or we're probably going to default to just getting that tinted rock instead. Because, truth be told, we could probably use the spirit hearts. But right now, I'm I'm stoked. We've got a lot of good utility items, and uh, obviously, we start with a great start because we're uh, Judas. We have Book of Belial, which is great for the future. And the present, for that matter. Uh, and we have... Uh, there's options to kelp. The, to kelp. Uh, we have there's options to help us, uh, you know, choose the way we want our run to go in the future. PhD for whatever random pills manage to drop. Attack fly is fine, but I, I have to feel like most of the time I'd probably be stoked that we got attack fly. Instead, I'm just like, you know, it's okay. <laughs> it's just not as good as uh, as the rest of our run looks right now in comparison. That doesn't make it bad by any stretch. I'm happy to have it. Okay, well, what's important for us is probably getting one more bomb and then going back to our uh, to our Isaac's room situation. We could swing a bomb most likely through uh, through a, a deal with the shop right now, just blowing up the donation machine. But we might just get it randomly. That happens too. Yep. Okay, let's go back. 
Normally I wouldn't be so excited, but the possibility of getting two black markets is actually ridiculous. I don't even know if you can. It seems like one of those things that there might be a condition in the game that's like, you can only have one black market. And you know what? I would be like, that's acceptable. Two black markets is, is pretty ridiculous, as is the fact that we just got petrified poop. Uh, which is one of the best early game trinkets, without a doubt. So we'll take that, and we're just going to shoot this, because we might need to buy another bomb in order to get the, this Tinted Rock accessed, or a Spirit Heart, or something like that. Um, and unfortunately, it is a dirty room, but there is a Tinted Rock available on here. We can sleep in the bed, and I think we gained three Spirit Hearts that way, so we traded three bombs. We traded four bombs for, like, four Spirit Hearts. That's an incredible deal. Also makes it completely plausible for us to go to our curse room right off the bat, where we... Basically, this whole run is just the principle of, like, pushing your luck a little bit and, like, trading what you currently have a surplus for, for what you have a scarcity of. So, like, we <laughs> we had a surplus of bombs, we, we traded it for uh, spirit hearts. We had, uh, technically, a surplus of HP, we traded it for those there's options and uh, PhD picks, pickups. And, you know, we've stacked up so many advantages at this point that I... I I feel like even if our deals with the devil end up being super shitty, we sort of can't lose. It's pretty ridiculous right now. Now, we don't quite have enough to make the shop a guaranteed worthwhile uh, option for us, but we could reasonably assume that there's a chance of it. Although now I'm like, uh, maybe with no poop on this room, maybe not. But we'll see what we get going on. There's a lot of potential options to the point where I don't even really want to go through them because they're kind of exhausting. Like, we have, um, we could probably get HP. That would give us fuel for the deal with the devil. Hmm, kind of a tricky fight, but uh, at least he's not going to explode in my face. Normally that version's easier, but um, this time we probably, since our range is sort of low, we want to keep him uh, close to us, so him not being a bomb is a good idea. And I didn't even get a chance to go through them before we had to deal with this. So you know what? Here, we want the pentagram. It, it ended up being a pretty easy decision. And then we will pay three for uh, Lord of the Pit. And were there any consumables I missed? Eh, I'd say we just head down to the next floor. This is probably uh, a one run already. Incredible damage, great utility items, just a unprecedented start here. PhD, eh, speed upgrade's good. We'll take bombs or key with us, but uh, we don't really want uh, to use it right now. That's probably not worth it either. And I am not going to shy away from these big rooms at this point. Pentagram plus Polyphemus. Uh, and by Polyphemus, of course, I mean Proptosis. Not that big of a mistake. One thing I haven't talked about that much either recently is that our just luck upgrade uh, train is, is really rolling here. Could blow up those and try to look for Magic Mush. To be honest with you, I'm pretty tempted. Uh, our luck has been such that I'm like, we should really press it at every available opportunity. It's probably our secret room there. Good value on that single bomb. And we end up getting six more cents, which is definitely going to make our shop worthwhile. We could probably spend a bomb instead of a key, but we have uh, versatility. Or we could possibly spend a bomb instead of a key. We have versatility, though, because we have uh, bombs or keys. So there's some flexibility in what we choose to do there. Uh, we got a guaranteed deal with the devil, and we're still low on HP, but the, uh, we, we kind of didn't have a choice in our last situation. We had a really good item in the form of the pentagram, uh, and then, you know, some regular HP. What do you take in that situation? You take the pentagram. You get the extra damage, um, you, and you pay out the ass for a deal with the devil, and just hope that it's a deal with the devil that was worth it, and in our case, I think Lord of the Pit was. Little Chad, no offense, but I hope that I never use you over the course of this entire run. I hope that you just sit there dormant, doing nothing. But if you have to help, I hope you get the chance to. That is, uh, there must have been a luck down pill in our rotation. Because, uh, we just got a luck upgrade of a different color. But I'm very, very happy to have it. It looks like we will have to use a key to get into our shop. And luckily, they keep coming. Kind of fast and furious here, but we definitely do want to get into our shop. We don't want to just let that fall by the wayside. We've got so much money. Something like a converter wouldn't even necessarily be bad here, but... We're going to ignore the ladder, obviously. We're going to ignore a uh, deck of cards. Just not a good value proposition for us right now. Spirit Heart and Key were good, though. And probably our boss fight right around the corner here. This has been a very easy floor. And hopefully you can tell from my commentary, I'm having a great time on this run. This one has already uh, surpassed the damage that we were doing on that Maggie run. Which also ended up being very fun by the end. But uh, there were some parts of that run where I was like, ah, you know, this is a little bit of a, a tighter game. Uh, it's a, a slightly tougher decision, but I'm going to take the damage again. We'll take uh, Cat of Nine Tails over our uh, latch key pickup. I think our luck's good enough. We don't need the keys and we don't necessarily need the spirit hearts. Then we took a guppy item and a couple of black hearts as well. So, didn't quite break even. We paid one for the guppy item, which is fine. I can see forever is great. 
Another luck upgrade. Certainly, we did not need the luck upgrade from Latchkey. So, it ended up being uh, still a pretty easy decision, I suppose, all things considered. Man, this run is just... Everything is falling into place. We, we pretty much want for nothing right now. We have enough money, just enough bombs, just enough keys, just enough HP. Uh, more than enough damage, let's be honest about that. But uh, it's, uh, it's a pretty special run right here. This is just a very, very enjoyable seed. Without making you insanely overpowered, it, it's just, it's fun. You, you might argue that this is insanely overpowered, but it, it's not... Oh, that was very dumb of me. Uh, it's not visibly, I guess, too insanely overpowered. You know, relative to like, I got Brimstone Mom's Knife on my first Devil Room. Uh, let's see what we've got in here. This might be an opportunity for us to compromise and take some HP, but... You know, what would be the best compromise is if we got HP on our deal with the Devil to begin with. I have to take Torn Photo here, it's just... We, we've had, like, almost an objectively better item in every situation. Now, this is fun. Um, we're going to take Ceremonial Robes. We're also going to take this Guppy item. It's a huge risk. But, um, the Ceremonial Robes pickup is awesome. Should take this. Uh, the, the Guppy pickup takes us extremely close to becoming Guppy. But we have no HP. But we have a Tinted Rock. So as long as we didn't get hit there, we were probably good. One time, I don't want Small Rock. Instead, I just wanted Spirit Hearts. We did not get them. We get a Judgment. Oh, thank you for not being a Demon Judgment and ruining my life. Uh, if you could just give me one HP right now, that would be beautiful. I would love it. We have played a little fast and loose here, but we're so close to the sun. And we're like three minutes ahead of Boss Rush. We still got a shop and an item room on this floor. Come on. I don't really care if you pay out, you know, financially, but for time's sake, sometime in the... Today, Junior, would be nice. Maybe it's because I put him too close to the wall. He's looking for a space to put the item pedestal. There we go. That's exactly what we're looking for, HP. And thankfully, it doesn't look like we're going to have to spend too long um, hurting for HP. So we're going to put a bomb down there just to see if we get something. We got yet another luck upgrade and... You know, we're almost at the point where I feel like I can afford to get low on HP because... Oh, don't shoot the freaking TNT, you ding dong. Um, I feel like we can get a little low on HP because we don't uh, have to wait too long for a consumable to show up thanks to our luck upgrade stat. So that's going to be our secret room. Rate of fire, damage, everything. Even range is looking pretty okay right now. We get transcendence, which I think is actually effectively worthless. But why not take it at this point? We got a boss trap room. We also just picked up Abel. Effectively worthless, but why not take it? Not really interested in our mob trap room with such meager payouts, unfortunately. But again, can't really complain. We got a really cool looking Judas run as well. This run's got everything, man. It's even got the aesthetics down right now. My reflection. This might be garbage for us, but I'm going to take it anyway. Our shot speed seems good enough that the, the shots don't curve back until they would have missed the enemy we fired them at anyway most of the time. Yeah. Yeah, this is fine. And the greed fight is over before it even starts, really. Took a little longer after I originally said that, but that's okay. And you know what? I think we're in the zone. I think we can take Judas's tongue here. With one HP, it doesn't help us out very much, but if we can just get to two, we are golden. Okay, um... How do I feel about this? How could I be sad about this run right now? The only thing that bothers me a little bit is our HP. Maybe next floor we fight Krampus. Yeah, it slows down our momentum a little bit. But apart from that, uh, this is this is just your ideal fun Judas run right now. Let's head down to the next floor. And I'm very glad that we actually did things the aggressive way there. It worked out for us. For now. <laughs> I guess they, it could still get turned on its head a little bit. We could blow those up for uh, spirit hard chances. There is a tinted rock right here. Why go to the farm when you can just get your milk from the grocery store? This time we get Small Rock. Which is, uh... That's a secret room, I'm assuming. But, um... Small Rock is great, although I am... In the market, you could say, for some HP. Now I'm skeptical that that's our secret room. That's gonna be our Magician card, by the way, so... I'm not, uh, too heavily invested in the idea of that. I... I'm confident enough that our damage is absurd enough that we can just take this Eternal Heart and not take damage. I don't really care about playing a, a Blood Bank if one shows up anyway. Secret room shows up. Super Greed. <laughs> We've gotten our money back, I suppose. And again, way, way, way ahead of schedule. That Small Rock pickup is... Our damage is getting to the point where it's disgusting. Let's just leave it at that. 
Um, that is a double key room. Don't make me do it. Don't give me the ultimate test. Don't make me reroll a great run. Okay, it's a four room. It rerolls all item pedestals. We've already. No, our shop has nothing. Yeah, because it was a greed fight. No, our shop. We bought champion belt. Okay, so that's already gone. Let's go check out our item room here. I was trying to go through the mental, you know, inventory of where we're at here. We just keep it up here. Hello. Don't mind me. No, okay. I will do my best. This is a. I don't mind anything right now. This run has made me heavily sedated. Let's see what we've got going on in here. Super bandage. I, honestly, I don't think we reroll that. It's a little bit of the uh, coward's way out, but we have no interest in rerolling that. We could still use the HP. Literally, lack of HP is probably the only thing that could kill us except for a six room at this point. So if we end up not using the four room, we end up not using the four room. You know, life goes on. Gish, I'm very sorry about this. I have respect for you as a boss, but uh, you're not going to have too much of a chance here, buddy. I'm going to spoil that for you. Don't mind the Krampus fight. Well, uh, you know what? We will take Synth Oil over little, little Gish here. Why not stack up as much HP as possible? Uh, okay, tell you what. We take Gimpy. We take Abaddon. Damage is just going through the roof. Then we can actually make use of our 4 room. Rerolling Book of Sin into a Spirit Heart deal. That is, um, that is better for us. Yeah, I'm leaving some money behind. Doesn't matter. Hopefully better for us, I should say. So I don't think we left behind like an Able. That's a trinket up there. I think it's Petrified Poop. Uh, maybe not Petrified Poop, but it's something else. Uh, I, I can't even remember what we got in our item room. It's Super Bandage, I guess. Okay. And then from our deal with the devil, we get Book of Sin. Okay. Maybe the four room doesn't apply to deals with the devil. Still, Abaddon. Oh, I punched my microphone stand. Abaddon Synth Oil. Great name for a dope-ass speed metal band. But, uh, we're going to just be thankful that we continue to stack up the most disgusting amounts of damage you could possibly comprehend. And then, yeah, sure, why not just toss us some free items for no reason. At this point, I'm not going to bother too much looking for a teleport card. I'm mostly just like, you know, if you want me to, if you're going to give me something good on boss rush, I'm content to do it. Like, I, I see no reason not to. Nope. In, a, in no situation do I take Isaac's heart. I hate it. Don't even care about those books. Um, I, I, it's one of the very few items I just will not touch. Hematomesis could be good. Bombs are key. Eh, it's not necessarily any better, but we'll take BFF. We'll take the compass. And you know what? We'll donate as much of our meager remaining money as the game will let us. And we're, we're already ready to go on this floor. BFF is cool. Um, come on. How about hematomesis? Uh, not hematomesis. Uh, compass? Compass is fine. Nothing wrong with that either. Um, we'll come over here and crack into these. We do have bombs, of course. Cricket's head. I don't know. Do we have a multiplier? Like a damage multiplier? I don't think we do. <laughs> Did you hit the gong, Kate? Dong! That's, that's the boss rush timer indicator. When that goes off, you know you're screwed. I know I mentioned that as a joke, but I feel like that would be a cool indicator, or a cool thing to add uh, as an optional uh, setting in Isaac, is like an, an audio tone that plays when 20 minutes has passed, so you know that boss rush can't be gotten. Add a little flavor. Um, well, let's take the Polaroid, and we'll see what's going on in here. Cool. So that's basically a free deal, if we could have actually paid for one, which we can't. Uh, let's see what we've got going on in boss rush. We gotta take homing tears. Skinny odd mushroom also like really really fun, but uh, yeah, we gotta take homing tears here. Just it's a foundational item for so many great synergies. Now, admittedly, hasn't quite gone like as fast as I would have uh, anticipated here right off the start. That's okay. I really hate carrying queen, but I guess I'm I'm happy you can get it out of the way early here. Now our real test will be if we can get out of this room before the boss rush normally would have closed us in. So if we can get out before 20 minutes, I'll consider this a, a pretty big success. Uh, was that Loki? Did we just shit on Loki that quickly? That's pretty great, if that's the case. And we'll just... We, we can't hit both enemies at the same time, unfortunately, because our range is, like, our only shitty spot right now. So we'll just, um... Yeah, sure, yeah, drop some more spirit hearts. Thanks, Gimpy. I forgot that our luck stat is through the roof. So basically, you, you can't kill me. 
I uh, hitting me just makes me more powerful than you could possibly imagine. And honestly, good boss rush uh, setup as well. Like, it wasn't the absolute best items in the game, but if you give me the chance to to steal a um, a homing tears from the the boss rush, I'm usually in. That's like my go-to item for boss rush is homing tears. So, I definitely do not mind this. 18 minutes. I think we're making good progress. Champion Gertie's pretty tanky, but also pretty flippin' dead. Chubb has got nothing at all. Already done. We got like some peeps, or sorry, some bloats. We got some Monstro 2s and little gishes, or regular sized gishes, I suppose, if I'm not being needlessly diminutive. Again, like, I think I have like a 60% chance of dropping a Spirit Heart when I get hit. We're gonna be out of here before 20 minutes for sure. I think we almost killed Pin before it even spawned. We got Husk. Yeah, Husk and Hollow. Followed by the Bloat, actually, so... We're actually basically done already, as far as I'm concerned. Well, that poisoned all enemies on the screen. <laughs> I don't really know how- oh no, it didn't poison, just a champion. I was like, I don't know how uh, we poisoned the bloat from across the screen with poison touch. But hey, I'm not gonna ask questions about this run, it seems pretty powerful. Alright, famine is dead. Pestilence, also dead. Death. Don't want to give it a chance to spawn scythes or bomb flies or whatever assholery it does here. War, probably like two hits away from death. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Not death, sorry, transformation. That's just, death is just the ultimate transformation, dog. Alright, the Fallen might be one of the easier enemies we fought recently. I would say that's confirmed. One last skull. I mean, yes, okay, Book of Belial is less important than Blank Card. Blank Card could give us some zaniness here. Like I said, no doubt in my mind we'll be out of here by 20 minutes, 1955. It was a little close, but uh, I'll take it. Okay, not going to be our fastest run ever, but definitely one of the most fun runs I've had uh, recently. It's hard to say, like, ever, because, you know, I've played a lot of Isaac in my day, but... Uh, definitely one of the most fun runs I've had in, in quite some time. Oh, come on now with this nonsense here. I mean, come on, don't, uh, come on, come on here. Would you, would you pop up? Bum, 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 Mr. Sandman. Pop up your head, pop up your head, pop up your head, and you will be dead. That feels like a secret room to me, if I'm being honest. Try to make a habit of that. Uh, three extra bombs. And I, I like to point this out, but if you're watching this thinking, how's NL gonna throw this one? It, it's not gonna happen, so... If you're only watching to watch me lose, you might as well go home now, because this one is done. We will not lose this run. It's, it's literally possible. For a multitude of reasons, I'd say probably the greatest chance is that we get a reroll room and I go through with it, and uh, and it screws us. But there's a lot of like you know coin flips going on in there, a lot of filters basically. Um, and if that doesn't end up happening, I really can't picture us just running out of HP. The great cricket's head. Oh, blank card wheel of fortune. This is uh, borderline acceptable. I don't want to. Talk it up too much, but it, it's basically just, it's good, good enough. Gimpy hasn't really been paying out for us lately. Maybe that 60% figure was a little ambitious, but still very happy with where we're at. Now, double Loki doesn't stand much of a chance. We might as well turn our efforts towards looking for Tinted Rocks, and we don't see any yet. No deal with the devil is really disappointing. Mom's underwear, also not very good, but uh, so be it. All right, let's try to get to our boss fight as soon as possible here. I don't see a curse room. I do see a boss trap room, but ah, uh, it's it's tempting. I gotta admit, it's tempting to see if Guppy's in there. I don't know why I admit it as if it's like a guilty pleasure. Like, yeah, I'd really like to do my due diligence on this floor. Like, it's a bit self, uh, self-effacing there, but I'm probably just gonna skip it and, and try to not speed run, but, but put a little bit of a speed uh, focus on the last half of the game here, because we can, basically. There is also, like, if we were doing complete optimal plays, we'd probably be interested in trying to, um... 
uh, ensure that we use like book of or sorry uh, blank card wheel of fortune whenever possible and the reason that you'd want to do that is obviously because you could blow up several of them at the same time the deal with the devil as tempting as it is is not going to contain anything um, okay sadly curse of the lost here but I never mind fighting on the uh, on the cathedral of course there are uh, you know some rooms in the cathedral that are annoying as hell daddy long legs is so annoying when the shots hit you and you're like, oh, I guess I just had, or the legs hit you and you're like, I guess I had no control over that one whatsoever. Uh, you know, we should probably do this room as much as it pains me to do so. Curse of the Lost is pretty much the only time I'll do this room unless I have no bombs. Or just such insanely high damage that it doesn't matter. Uh, which is almost the situation we're in right here, I'd say. But, uh, mostly as like, I don't want to have to bomb my way through this room. If I, if I... Do the trademark Northern Lion thing and can't find my way. I don't want it to take me, you know, all of my bombs to get through this room over and over and over and then have to fight it anyway. Might as well just knock it out. Hopefully there's some red chests in that mob trap room. It's a Robo Baby. Even with BFF, that should tell you how much I value Robo Baby. I, it's not terrible, but if it's not going to really give us a good gain here, why, why even bother? Because we're already strong enough to not need it. Um, we have PhD. We should take this. I mean, we paid good money or good HP for uh, PhD earlier in the game, so might as well take advantage of it. Balls of Steel. Yeah, exactly. Speed up Balls of Steel. That's two good pills in a row. Probably not going to be a turning point on this run or anything like that, but, you know, nice to have. I can see forever. Also a good pill. Speeds up our mobility a little bit. Really looking for uh, second secret rooms is an indication that we're kind of closing in on the boss fight. I thought we'd already been here. And as soon as that happens where I'm like, I think I'm here, but it turns out we are not, I know I'm fucked. As far as, uh, as, far as cartography goes, I'm screwed. Yeah, I thought we had covered this entire part of the floor already. Oh well. Um, you know, we'll do it like Minecraft style. Just stick to the right wall, and then if you ever reach a dead end, just start going back to the left. Yeah, I've played Minecraft. That was back in 010, man. Which doesn't even sound like a proper designation for a year. Um, back in back in 2010, I was all about that Minecraft. Listening to Sufjan Stevens' album, The Age of Ads. Playing Minecraft Alpha? I can't remember. It's been a while. Let's put ourselves right in the shit here. Uh, I did get Samson's Chains. This has been showing up all the time late in the game lately. It sucks. <laughs> Early in the game, I actually feel like Samson's Chains, uh, this guy could not intimidate us any less, honestly. Um, Early in the game, I kind of feel like Samson's Chains is maybe the best of the uh, Stompy items. Ah, uh, that's not true. Stompy is better, I think, but it's pretty good. Late in the game, there's just not enough rocks. Like, who cares? Infamy is pretty sweet, though. Like, on the chest, there are no rocks. We could break red poops with it, but why not just walk through them if we're already adept enough to, like, destroy them, which takes a little bit more mental focus, so why not just walk around them? That's our second secret room, so I'm thinking we're probably Gucci here. Yeah, that would be a great guppy item. Instead, it's a bunch of spiders, which is actually still pretty good. If we can take one or more of those into the boss fight, and we do have one, that is... Some damage. <laughs> Maybe not as much as I would have liked, but that's all right. Okay. So we our, our momentum has slowed down a little bit. This is not going to be like a sub-30 run, probably. But uh, it's a fast run and a good run regardless. And all kind of buoyed by that original uh, black market that I never would have expected. We got a great opportunity to get some extra items on our chest here. Uh, every four rooms, plus a little bit, because we can just pop the, the Wheel of Fortune card itself. We'll get a brand new... Uh, item plus our luck stat is ridiculous, so I'd be expecting a lot of items on our way here. Well, Holy Mantle's great. Stigmata's great. I don't know. Let's take Dr. Fetus. Let's, let's try to fuck our run up, basically. Um, I want to see if we can. The speed at which we shoot these bombs is a little ridiculous. It's actually making it extremely difficult to, to aim. Uh, and that's okay, you know, that's, there's some, there's some fun in that. But I'm, I'm a little scared. 
I, d I would like to blow up this door. You know what? Okay. How about that? How do you like that? This was one of the chances for a run loss that I didn't fully comprehend prior to starting, I suppose. It's it's really weird. Like, the reason our bombs are interacting so strangely, I think, is because we have uh, My Reflection plus the um, Spoonbender. So, obviously, My Reflection is causing them to home in on enemies, but Spoonbender is also kind of pulling them back. And some for some reason, pulling them back to me, which I'm not sure why that is. But, you know, with, with these uh, weird synergies, you just kind of... Learn to accept. I guess it's pulling it back towards me because of my reflection, but it, it seems really strong. Luckily, we have Holy Mantle, but yeah, this is this is another weird run. I like that though. I liked that a lot. You know what? We're almost at our boss fight. I think we just put these down and then blow it up. We get Ouija board. Mom's eye is actually going to be terrible, and Brother Bobby should not be very good. So a little bit of a shit haul there, but I think <laughs> Mom's eye might be dictated by our luck stat. So, hilariously enough, I think we're pretty much just going to fire two bombs at all times. Which is a little ridiculous, but also very funny, I'll admit. Yeah, this is this is weird. We got, like, you know, slingshot bombs. I was going to say, if that makes us guppy, that would be hilarious. I don't know if Mysterious Liquid really benefits us too much. Oh, I hurt myself a little bit there, I think. Unless I... No, I don't have Pyromaniac or anything. I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm trying to do the fucking, you know, logarithmic equations necessary. Get out the artillery tables to figure out how to hit the boss with both of our bombs. Usually one just comes back and hits us in the fucking face. Yeah, there you go. But we have we have Gimpy, we have Infamy, we have uh, Old Bandage. We, we got so many fail safes. I have hit myself several times, though. I wish that this were not the case. There we go. We got a nice little slingshot thing going on on the wall there. I'm a little frightened, actually, but I think we got him. Weird run. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. I've said a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.